Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen of the jury? It's Zero here, bringing you another episode of Fan Made Fan Play. So now, this is a particularly exciting episode because, as you all may know, I'm a huge fan of the Mega Man series. I mean, it's by far my favorite series. And I'm also a big fan of these Maker type games like, you know, Mario Maker and uh, Zelda Maker we looked at it not too long ago. So, obviously I'm really hyped for this. So, uh, you know, what, without further ado, how about we get started? Alright, so now, uh, I've already taken care of, uh, a little bit of the setting stuff. Like, I I've changed the controls to my fitting, and, uh, I've also made an account because you need that to access the online stuff. So let's start by playing some online levels, I think. Uh, that'll be the best way to go. Uh, let me enter my password real quick. Okay, so, we're connecting to the servers. Let's find a level. Uh, hopefully it'll be good. And hopefully it won't be like a Kaizo kind of level, because honestly, those those are not fun. Um, whatever. Let, let's take a look. So, got Snowflake, Warm, Fear, Forgotten City, Hard, Running Bright, Hmm, Sanctuary, Gemini's. I I think. Uh, hmm. Is there? I don't think there's an option to sort by popularity. But I think we'll, we'll go with the Forgotten City because that sounds cool. And, uh, yeah, let, let's try this. Zero, zero play, zero score. See, it seems legit, you know? I, I'm expecting great things. Alright. Okay. And, uh, it looks like maybe the boss of this will be Bomb Man? At, at least I hope there's Robot Masters. Ooh. That, that Mega, Mega Man 2? Mega Man 2 Wily Castle? I think that's the music, right? Oh, I sincerely hope I'm right. Alright. And... Oh, boy. Ooh. That's... That's hella laggy. Borderline unplayable. Uh... Okay, so I had to back out there. Um, I'll, I'll try downloading it. And hopefully this will be better. Maybe it's a problem with the internet. So, uh... Let's see here. Okay, it's not any better downloaded, guys. Um, maybe we shouldn't play online. So, h how about we make our own level? Uh, I I'm not quite sure how this really works. Maybe I should have watched the tutorial they offered earlier. Oh well, we'll, we'll figure things out, guys. Don't worry. Oh, okay. So I I seem to have placed Mega Man. And uh, I think that's the background. Oh, that's that's all right. Hmm. Let's see here. What, what do I want to go for? Let's see. Okay. Oh, we got a tropical. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that was. Oh. Oh, okay. It looks like it's uh it's sorted by uh the Mega Man games. Uh, 1 through 6, it seems. And that makes sense, because I think, uh... Those, those were the only 8-bit ones, I think? Aside from, like, 9 and 10, but... Uh, 7 and 8 were on the Super Nintendo, so I think they were 16-bit. And obviously the aesthetics would not match up. Although I think it would have been really nifty if, um... They incorporated, like, Mario Maker, where you could change the art style. So if you did like, you know... The crappy 16-bit Mega Man games art styles... You could, you know, choose those if you want. But anyways, let's start by building a platform and, uh... Let's build a... Let's build another platform, maybe here? You know, I'm, 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 I'm gonna make a cut real quick. Okay. So, I, I've decided that I'm gonna make it sort of like a split path kind of thing, you know? Give you a little bit more freedom to play around the level, you know? Two, two kinds of difficulties to choose from, right? Variety is the spice of life. So I think that's the best option. And, uh... So I think we'll have a bottom path that'll go somewhere. And then we'll have a top path that also goes somewhere. <laughs> what, I, I have not decided as to what I want to do. But you know what? This will be a learning experience for both of us. Let's see here. Let's add some ladders so we can go up. 
And, uh... I, I think we need some enemies here, too. Uh, let's see what they have. Mmm... Nothing there. These guys seem interesting, I think. Um, if I remember correctly, they, uh... They... What do they do? They shoot. <laughs> uh, whatever, you know. We'll put these guys there. We'll see what happens. Alright. Okay, guys. I've decided to make this top portion sort of like a... Uh, a sky area kind of thing. Like, uh, the, the top portion will take you up to the skies. And we'll have, like, platforming through the air. And bottomless pits, obviously. And then, uh, I think uh, for maybe the bottom portion, we'll, we'll go with the... The sort of, like, factory aesthetic that's already being... That's already going down, like, beneath us. I, I think that'll be a, an interesting dichotomy. So, uh... uh I, I think I'll, I'll cut again. And I'll be right back when I have a little bit more, uh, things to show. Or something more substantial, basically. Alright, alright. So, I've just found out that, uh, these enemies from Mega Man 1 are in this game. And what's, not, what's, what's neat about them is that, uh, they move left and right. So, I'm gonna go back and replace all these, uh, basic-ass platforms with nice moving ones to add a little bit of dynamic, uh, and challenge to the whole thing. Because nobody likes just plain platforming. No, no, no. We gotta add a bit of a challenge. These guys, not only do they move, but I think they shoot as well. If I remember correctly. I sincerely hope I remember correctly. I, somebody else is gonna correct me there if I'm wrong. So whatever, right? And I also hope uh, that's wide enough. Or, er, not wide enough, but like close enough for you to make it across. Okay. So, uh, I'm done with the top portion. I think it's time to start on the bottom portion of this, uh stage and uh i found that the teleportation things from Mega Man 9 are in this so like i'm really keen on using those as part of the gimmick because I, I really like it a lot so uh i'll be back again when i'm actually done with the stage and all right so i finished the stage uh i think it's pretty good we have the teleportation platforms down here we have that sky portion on top so now all we have to do is play through the level. So let's get started. Alright, so I think uh, I'm gonna go with the top level first. Uh, largely because I, it, it might be easier? I don't know. I, I haven't actually played through much of my own level. I just, uh, whoops. I, I just made sure that uh, I can actually, you know, do the jumps and stuff. Like, this, it might look scary. And I, uh, I second guess myself right there, but you know what? It's actually makeable. Watch, just you watch. Oh, there we go. See, easy as pie, right? And uh, okay. Oh, uh, you can make that jump too. Trust me. Ooh, there we go. See, barely but surely. And then moving on here. Yeah, as you can see, we have a vertical scrolling section. Uh, you don't see too many of these in the original Mega Man games, I don't think. So I decided to add them here because I, I really like that. You know, change up the, uh, dynamics a bit. Make things a little more interesting, I feel. Got these guys, but I'm just gonna go past them because there's no point in fighting it. A little bit of enemy spam, you know, keeps things interesting, right? You gotta have some combat in our platforming game. Whoops. And now we have the spikes. And a full heal. Now, I'm particularly proud of this because, uh... I, I, I don't know. I thought it was really cool. And, uh... It, it's... Okay, so that wasn't too bad after all. Alright, so, um... The final boss is a surprise, but you'll see him eventually. Uh... But if you could guess by the music... It's Cutman! And... The AI has wonked out. I... I don't know, for whatever reason, the AI just likes to get stuck here. Um... He doesn't really jump. It's actually pretty easy. Um, but we're not done yet because we also have the uh, bottom portion to go through. So, I'll be right back. And let's get started with that. Okay. Now, hopefully, 
Actually, I think the bottom portion might be easier now. Uh, because it's pretty short. It's like... Three screens at the most, actually? <laughs> so, um... Uh... Maybe this isn't the best level. But, like I said, it's meant to showcase off a few things. I also like this portion, uh, where you have to, like, jump back on these platforms that, uh, drop down. And... <laughs> there- there we are! We're- we're back- <laughs> we're back here! And once again, if we are to expect anything else, the AI continues to walk out on us. That's okay, because that makes my job a lot easier. Um, to be fair, I also made his weakness, the, the Mega Buster. So it's, uh, it's particularly easy. But, uh, there we go. That's Mega Maker. As always, I have left the game in the description below. So be sure to check it out yourself. Make your own levels. Let me know what you think. Um, and share them with me, you know? I'll totally play them if you can somehow do that. But as always, thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, if you liked what you saw, you know, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And share the video. Spread the word. And as always, thank you all so very much for watching. And have a stellar day.